All right, Jeremiah here, and welcome back to another unboxing. This time, we are taking a look at vintage Dragon Ball figures from Argentina. I had to pack here, and I cannot wait to get into this. So, with that said, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so usually in my past videos, I have been unboxing a lot of the Ichiban Kuji stuff. A lot of it is new, uh, mint in sealed box. And uh, for those of you that know, I do collect vintage Dragon Ball figures also. Um, I typically don't do unboxings with them uh, just because you know you can order so many and uh, they're usually either loose or they're, uh, they're still carded. Um, so there's not really much for me to sort of uh, unbox, right? Um, but for this one in particular, I wanted to record it uh, similar to how I did for the uh, bootleg Uzaru video. If you haven't seen that, I do have that on the channel. Um, and I usually do that for figures that I feel like um, even if they're vintage and whether they're loose or they're carded, they're kind of hard to come by. Um, so I thought that this was a special occasion and I wanted to make sure that um, I captured it all on camera for you guys. So. Uh, you might have seen from the title that these are indeed uh, vintage Dragon Ball figures um, from Argentina and uh, as I also said in the intro. Um, so yeah, I think with that said, let's, uh, let's just get right into the unboxing, okay? Now this was packed pretty carefully by a seller in Argentina, a good friend of mine. Uh, well, we became friends after we got to connect and uh, I want to thank you so much. Uh, Bruno, shout out to Bruno because he's the one that got this whole package uh, together for me. So I love the way he packed it. I hope you guys enjoy the unboxing. So let's do that first. Now, as you can see, um, it does say inspection here. I guess for some whatever reason, they had to open it up uh, during the delivery. So hopefully nothing has been damaged. Um, but because from what Bruno showed me, it was packed really well. So hopefully the, uh, the, the figures and the cards, I think that's probably the most important. Um, are still in pristine condition. So let's check that out. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm not sure how I wanna <laughs> unbox this, but here we go. Actually, let's try something. Uh, <laughs> just to kind of save us some time. And one, I'm gonna clap. Two, I wonder if that works. Three. All right, <laughs> here it is. Uh, I don't know if that effect worked, but um, yeah, I'm just glad that I was finally get, able to get this open. Um, I have to hand it to FedEx. Uh, if they put all, if they inspected it and they added all that bubble wrap once again on top of it, I mean, I know they're doing their job, but I think they went the extra mile to really pack it up. So I'm happy for that, yeah? Now, um, usually I just start pulling out the figures out of here and then setting them on the table. Uh, I do want to try a first person uh, perspective of how I'm opening these up because I do want you to take note of how Bruno packed these guys. Uh, I was super uh, carefully, yeah, super carefully, um, and I really appreciate that so that the figures were um, intact. So hopefully FedEx didn't mess anything up. Here we go. All right, and here's the view from the top down. Let's check it out. Boom, boom, boom. Now he packed it with uh, cardboard, right? To make sure that it was super, super duper um, safe. So I'm gonna take this carpet out. And what do we have here? Woohoohoo! Up first we have, oh, there he is. I'm just gonna toss that over there. Wow, so he really put uh, bubble wrap all over top of it. Um, even put this card, or styrofoam here to keep the card in shape because, I mean, woo! Look at that. This is Joxa Gohan in a super minty, minty card back. So cool. Up next, we have Vegeta. You can already tell. Toss that over there. Okay, get this guy out. I love, I super love how you packed it. Just, you know, when you're, when you're trying to collect these guys, um, especially if you're collecting carded. I know some people collect loose. Um, I, I mean, for me, I prefer, actually I'm okay with either. Um, loose, I'll buy super cheap, but if it's carded, um, I'm okay with paying a little bit extra on top um, for a really good condition one, because uh, personally for me, it's, a, it's history. It's history of our Dragon Ball figures, so. Um, that's awesome, look at that. Cool. Up next we have, woo -hoo -hoo. So I got three Joxa figures from him, and uh, 
this is how we pack them out. This is the last one. Um, and this is, look at that. Go Ku Super Saiyan. Um, if you look at the back, I was showing it earlier, but uh, here's a better look. Um, these are all the figures that uh, they released in Argentina. Um, I know there's, uh, I think there's a difference in how they produce the figures, or I, I'm not sure. <laughs> look at Vegeta, his armor. Some people noted this before <laughs> in the picture. His armor is like on backwards, but anyway. Um, yeah, I, I, I believe the quality of the figures is also different. I'm going to have to, you know, um, really check them out one by one to see how they differ from release to release uh, if regards to like Erwin versus Super Battle versus uh, these guys, but check them out. So this is Gohan, yeah, uh, his cape. I assume his cape used to be attached here and probably over time it just kind of flew to the side there, which I'm okay with, but look at the condition, love it. Now, here's what you're gonna find that's cool about uh, the Joxa figures, or at least the carded ones. If you notice, there's like this weird sort of a uh, squiggle right there, right? You might be wondering, what does that mean? I think what they did was to kind of save on production, um, you know, quote me, like, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, for those of you guys that are tuning in from Argentina, uh, you'd know more, <laughs> you'd know this better than I would, but from what I know, okay, uh, armor, I mean, the figures each had their different uh, types of accessories and armor. So what they did was made the card uh, big enough to sort any kind of figure from the, the line. So whether that was, at least for some of them specifically. So obviously Gohan has his own. I think Broly has his own. But like, I think for Trunks, Goku, I think Gohan has his own, little Gohan. But these guys, I believe, okay, one, two, three, four, five, they can all kind of come fitted in here. And you can see from the armor, right? Like Vegeta's armor looks like it goes there. You've got this little uh, thing here that goes for his tail. Um, and so on and so forth. And they just were able to fit these guys in there. So uh, there you go. That is the breakdown. These are the Joxa figures that I got. Super rare, uh, especially in this condition. Um, I just love uh, Dragon Ball toy history. So this was a must have for me. Now, uh, inside there is a bit of a bonus because uh, to kind of make the most of the shipping, I asked, you know, I was looking around. Um, shout out to my friend. Uh, from Argentina, Johnny Vegas, he posted up a link. Are you probably, Johnny, by the time you're watching this video, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I probably showed you that I got them already, but again, thank you so much. He posted in the, uh, there's a Dragon Ball Argentina group, uh, vintage group, and he posted a link to these bootlegs. Now, I wasn't sure if these were real. I even talked to Bruno, and he even mentioned that, um, you know, these, uh, these bootlegs might be a bit, uh, you know, we, we don't know. Like, they could be a scam, they could be, for whatever reason, we weren't sure if uh, you know it was worth pursuing. So we weren't sure if these uh, bootlegs, right, were worth pursuing. Um, I, we just saw pictures of them. I'll link it up here. What it kind of looked like, uh, and the seller didn't really have that much of a, uh, I think, of a reputation yet on uh, on the site Mercado Libre. Now, for those of you guys that are uh, new to sort of ordering figures from different places across the world. Obviously you have eBay, uh, but then you can also go into distinct marketplaces that are available per country. And uh, I think in Latin America, they have Mercado Libre. And that uh, is basically, think of it like a Facebook marketplace, specifically for country. The problem is you can't order from there unless you're from that country. So uh, I saw these guys on uh, uh, Argentina's Mercado Libre, thanks to Johnny, and uh, got in touch with Bruno to see if, you know, maybe we could pick these up along the way um, and then, you know, maybe I could save myself on the shipping, at least per figure. Um, and so, he did. We, 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 we got in touch with the seller. It was indeed legit in the sense that, you know, it was a real uh, transaction. And we got the figures, and this is the reveal. Here we go. Okay, so again, I had just pulled out these uh, Joxa figures. Now, inside, there is another secret. Not so secret, I mean, I know they're there, so but we're gonna pull this out. Yeah, here goes the reveal. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. Let's set down, down here. Look at that. He packed it so well. I'm just gonna start tossing some of this stuff to the side. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, first up we have Piccolo. Look at that. That is a bootleg, yo. That's bootleg. Yeah, check him out. 
So he's got the uh, all the standard stuff, turban, um, cape, all of that. Um, he's got his. Uh, I mean, just look at the the way his body's connected. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I think even like his. Uh, look look at his um, look at his shirt there. Like his, you should be able to see some skin there. Instead, uh, his neck is painted like his shirt. You know, what can you do? It's bootleg, right? But here you go, like here's like a full set of what it would look like when they released it. Uh, we don't know if this was actually released in um, Argentina only, but I think this is definitely not Argentina produced. I think this was probably produced in China. But yeah, I think where most of the bootlegs come from, I think. But let's see if we can find something here. Uh, yeah, so made in China, but probably released only in Argentina. At least that's where, the only place I've seen him. So I'll put him down there. Next up we have Frieza. Look at that. Frieza. Wow. He's not bad. Look at that, yeah. So a couple of paint discoloration uh, things there, but actually not discoloration, just mean like, look at the, the shoulder. I mean, it's not as, you know, detail, like not as, Sharp, right? The lines, but that's fine. And here's the back. They really, I love, you know, what's interesting to me is the lengths the bootleggers will go to to make it look legit. They even took a picture of the bootleg piccolo. I mean, that's basically his body there. I assume that's the bootleg piccolo, but. All right, next we have Vegeta. Swipe some of that card uh, styrofoam off, but here you go. Yeah, not bad. Vegeta. Yep. And the back. Very cool. Let's get next. The next figure out. Wow, this was a, this was a lot. Up next. Ooh, Goku. <laughs> Look at Goku. Uh, he's got thick black eyebrows and he looks annoyed. <laughs> Black eyebrowed Super Saiyan Goku. <laughs> How often do you see that? Yeah, I love the box art. Um, same thing you see here where uh, they put the sticker to say where it was manufactured, but yeah, I assume it was, this was only released in uh, Argentina. You know, I wonder how the seller got a hold of it. Um, that's the thing about Mercado. I don't really, like I personally can't get in touch with the guy. So maybe Bruno would only know if he got in touch with him to kind of ask more details about these guys. But I think he was selling like separate sets. So I don't think this is the only set he has. <laughs> here's Goku. <laughs> okay, he's, he's definitely balding. Look at that. Uh, look at this Goku's face compared to... <laughs> so I assume... Okay, I'm going to make a correction earlier. I thought that maybe they took a picture of the bootleg Piccolo, but judging from this Goku, they probably got the pictures of the original. Yeah, because they're way too good for that. And then uh, packaged them here, so. There's Goku. And last but not least, we have SS Super Saiyan Vegeta also rocking the <laughs> blonde hair with black eyebrows, Vegeta. <laughs> So crazy, look at that. Um, similar to the uh, box art, I think uh, for the most part on the Super Battle Collection line. So I think that's what's really cool. It's got the Super B Battle Collection vibe. I mean, you have that back here, but, and I got super lucky because it's complete. There's six of them. So let me put this away. Okay, hang on, let me put this down because this is kind of heavy. Okay, so I finished uh, just kind of laying out the figures here, and what I did was just try to brush as much of the uh, styrofoam off uh, as much as I could, um, so you can get a clear look. Now, the only downside, um, I think, to packing them with the styrofoam is if the figures are not completely sealed, um, which can happen with some of these old figures, like look at that, see that? It's not completely sealed, so I think what happened during the shipment was some of the styrofoam was kind of flake off and it kind of gets stuck there inside with the figure. So, I mean, apart from opening this up and cleaning that out, which I don't plan on doing, um, I'm not really sure how to get it all out. 
Uh, if anybody has suggestions on how that happens, I mean, unless it all just, I kind of hang it this way until it all magically falls out. I mean, that's the only way I can think about it. But um, for the other figures, it wasn't as much of an issue. So you can see here, super clear with uh, SS Goku, uh, Piccolo also, uh, Vegeta, Freeze is also pretty good, and uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta. So really just here on the bootleg. Um, and I think here on the Joxa figures, Gohan seems pretty good, uh, Vegeta too, and I'm seeing a little bit here, unfortunately, on SS Goku. Uh, you can see here in his pants, that's inside. I don't think that's outside. Oh, a few of it's outside, but see there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's uh, inside. Not, not, not so much as the Goku here where it's kind of uh, crazy, but, um, and I think that's because right down here you can see there's a breakdown in the seal. So I don't know, maybe if I kind of just set him like that for a while, and if the figure inside isn't so sticky from what I know, sometimes if you keep figures inside too long, uh, they'll get sticky. Uh, this happens with sealed figures too, even if they're completely sealed. So who knows, either that'll stick or it'll fall off. Maybe I just kind of keep shaking it, but I mean, I'm not complaining because I still got these guys and they're in great condition. Um, so, and the styrofoam really helped in making sure that they came intact and not crushed. Um, yeah, so there you go. All right, so we're gonna take a quick break from the Joxa figures that I just got, and I wanted to feature a Joxa figure that I got a few weeks back uh, from a good friend named Fed Lo. And so he told me that um, this Joxa figure in particular, okay, um, you notice it's trunks, but obviously he looks a little bit different. So if you look at the back of the carded uh, Joxa card backs, actually, let me go ahead and grab that really quick. Okay, so we'll use Gohan as an example, right? Um, so in his card back right here, if you look at the back, you're gonna see that there is Trunks there, right there, but he looks completely different. And uh, I think the question is, why is that, right? So when I talked to Fed, he gave me an awesome explanation about it. Um, and what he said was, um, the Joxa company actually released these, uh, what's this, 10? Yeah, 10 figures, all right? And then they even released uh, two variants. Um, I guess that's what you call them, variants, but really, uh, what they were trying to do was sort of maximize uh, the popularity of Dragon Ball, even though they didn't quite understand the characters just yet. And so they called these characters, uh, I think it was Bulma and Goku Jr. I'll flash a picture of them here. Um, but you're going to notice that they look all completely like Gohan and Trunks, just they look a little bit different in terms of colorway, right? And so in total, I think with Joxa, there are 12 figures. Now, while I could explain about this uh, in my own words, I think it'd be better if it came from Fed himself since he really did a lot of uh, personal research into the line. Um, and uh, thankfully, he actually sent me a recording um, and he said that I could use it. So um, I think it'd be great for you guys to hear uh, what he has to say about this interesting Joxa figure. And uh, while I play over the voiceover, what I'll do is just take some cool video of uh, this guy and uh, hope you guys enjoy what Fed has to say. This figure was made from the same mold and from it, it was actually the same factory that made the actual Trunks Bulma, but they started mixing up colors from you know remaining uh, stock of plastic, and they sold those colorful Trunks with a VHS and a magazine back in the 90s. So it has the same weight and feel than the Jocks of Bulma, but it's actually not. It's like um, a colorful Trunks or maybe Bulma, but uh, it was made by the same uh, factory that made the actual Bulma in different colors. All right, so cool little history lesson there uh, on this figure coming straight from Fed. Thanks so much, man, for the breakdown. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, with that said, let's jump back to the rest of the video. All right, and so as you can see from my setup, I went ahead and put the bootlegs up here, got my uh, volume one, two, six, or seven, actually excluding trunks. I'm surprised that they didn't make a carded version of trunks, because if you look at the sequence, it's one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, you should at least hit trunks there at volume five, but I don't know, maybe he's out there, but judging from the pictures that they had on the back, I only think, maybe they didn't think trunks was as cool of a character, or they wanted to get a villain in there, so they put Frieza, there's only five, or sorry, six, yeah. Volume one to six, no, one to seven, missing five. Yeah, so there you go. Um, and I've got the carded Joxas right here. Okay, you've got your uh, 
Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and Super Saiyan, I almost said Trunks, Super Saiyan Gohan. <laughs> All right, quick cut into the video because the craziest thing just happened. I'm actually recording this after I finished uh, uh, everything, uh, recording uh, the video for the Argentina bootlegs and the Jaxa figures. And as soon as I packed everything up, I had just shot the last scene, which you're about to see after this, where I'm saying, hey guys, bye, thanks for watching. <laughs> the doorbell rang and I got another figure that just arrived and I think it's super uh, applicable to this video because it is another Joxa figure. All right, let's check out who it is. Okay, so here is the package. I went ahead and uh, cut everything out, but this is also gonna be my first time seeing it, so your first time seeing it. And let's see what we got. Well, I know what I got, but uh, let's see how we arrived, right? Look at this. Packed very nicely and looks like he is stuck to the styro. Um, yeah, let me see if I can uh, get this. Ooh, wow. He did such a nice job. Uh, so shout out to my friend Hernan. Uh, hopefully I'm saying your name right, bro. But he was the one who hooked me up with this figure. Let me go ahead and cut this open because it's not easy to do with one hand and I'll show you what I got. Okay, finished cutting him up and uh, here is the grand reveal. So what did we get? We got another Joxa figure, and let's see who it is. It is, woohoo! it's Frieza. Yes, so this is now my fourth Joxa figure. Uh, came just in time, it's so funny. I was literally uh, just videoing the, the uh, other Argentina unboxing. I wasn't sure if this guy was gonna come in, but here he is, I got the Frieza. Um, I love how it's got this cool little uh, sticker, I think that shows you um, it was sold in Argentina, but there he is. Here's a little close-up of his face, yeah? And there you go. So, um, I'm definitely collecting these guys. Uh, if you have any leads, if you're from Argentina and you're like, hey man, uh, I know somebody who's selling some of these guys, if you're interested, please reach out. Uh, if the price is right and I'm in a good position, <laughs> you know, I actually just spent a lot already, so maybe not too soon, but if you guys do, um, you know, come across these guys, please let me know. Um, in the comment section, yeah? But there you go. Frieza, Joxa, Hernan, thanks so much for this one. Um, and now, back to the video. Okay, so quick uh, post credit scene. Um, I forgot to mention that Bruno, as he was uh, receiving the bootlegs, um, actually videoed the whole experience because he also was curious to see if these guys existed. So um, I went, he went ahead and sent me the videos. I laughed, he laughed. Uh, and I want to share that with you guys now. So here's a look at what it was like for Bruno. I even asked him, thanks so much again, man, for letting me post this video. Uh, but here is the experience he had when he opened up these Argentina bootlegs. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, Jeremy, this is for Mercado Libre, and now it's for you, in English. Let's see which can, kind of abominations are inside this box, okay? I don't know. I really don't know. This is, will be a very bizarre unboxing. So the box is big, so let's see. <laughs> I am frightened. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. The moment of truth is here. Ah, oh, very good quality of them. <laughs> <laughs> of this. This. Okay. Papers. There is something. Mm, more papers. Okay. I touched something. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> let's let's see. Oh. <laughs> it has I think he, he has cancer. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I think. Okay. Mm, a little punch of Mm, but, oh. We will do. We will do. Okay. 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 No, I don't. I don't. We will choose uh, in order. Oh my god. Mm, not so bad. And oh, freezer. Okay. Freezer is not so bad. 
Okay. Everything is okay. Freezer is not so bad. Okay. It's okay. Some some punches. Punches girls. Okay. Look this incredible face. Like Japanese. <laughs> Japanese quality. <laughs> Let's go with P Piccolo. Piccolo has a problem, I think. <laughs> in, in how say his cintura? Eh, belt. No. But no. But no. <laughs> Hip and uh, the other thing. <laughs> okay. But it's not so bad. Maybe Ser Seru destroy him. Okay. I think you enjoy this kind of bizarre pock. <laughs> Let's see the Saiyajin. Look this hair and this. <laughs> the, the, no, no, no. Very good quality. <laughs> Pero por lo, at, at least in this version, put the stickers. The Joxa version in Argentina, that is, the, uh, are the Bandai mm. uh, figures. Don't put this. But okay, the general quality are, is, is incredible. <laughs> ah, great. Okay. Really, a, a very good deal. <laughs> I, I, th I think I will keep for me. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Masterpiece. No. <laughs> Masterpiece. I think he's broken. I don't know. But I think he's in, uh, he's doing chemotherapy. <laughs> He's not good. I think he has a lot of stress. Yeah, probably. Yes, I'm very good at la cintura. I don't know in English. Look this. If you mm, no, I think <laughs> I think he's not so attached with the, the legs. Really, I think this is the best. Uh, really, really good, uh, good deal. Okay, L let's see this quality. Incredible too. The card. So, hope you are ho happy. You will have this ca these abominations soon in your country, Filipinas. Okay, and uh, that is officially the video. Thanks so much for tuning into the unboxing. Um, you know, check out some of my other videos. I have more. Uh, so far, I've just been unboxing a lot of the Ichiban Kuji stuff. I did unbox uh, a few. I did one vintage uh, unboxing of a bootleg Uzaru I mentioned earlier, um, and I think I also did a video on Super Battle Collection customs that I had made. So, uh, Super Battle Collection is the line of toys that's near and dear to my heart. Um, so, hopefully, I'll do more unboxings or at least reviews of those um, because if they're sealed, I probably won't do an unboxing. Um, but anyway, uh, also check out some of the other videos on the channel. I have some interviews. I have uh, uh, some dance videos if you guys are into that. Uh, but for the toys, especially Dragon Ball, they're all on there. So thanks guys so much for checking out the video. Thanks for tuning in and uh, like, subscribe, share if you'd like, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I said, what's up, what's up? Y'all gonna step up, step up. I'm the best as they come. Call me blessed, I'm the one. Spitting raps like the sun. Fire blast down my tongue. Staying forever young. If you play me, you're done. Look out, I'm about to make it. I ain't faking. Wolf was breaking.